So now I give a proof of the fact that I used already in some couple of previous exercises, which is the, the Galois group uh, when we consider the splitting field of an irreducible polynomial acts transitively on the set of the roots of the polynomial. So the setting is the following. We denote by f, say polynomial on field, k, of course, no constant. And we consider L a splitting field for F. So it's a field that contains all the roots of uh, uh, F. Then what we can prove is that the Galois group G acts transitively on the set that I will denote by R of roots of F, so as a subset of, of L, <coughs> finite subset of course. So this is our statement and I want to prove it by using uh, what we know on extension of isomorphism, so the, uh, the theorem of, about extensions of isomorphism, which in this case, or in more general case, say we have two fields, k, k prime, and some isomorphic, some isomorphism, and we have an extension, so an injection here over some field L, and an, an extension of uh, L prime over K prime, then whenever we have such a situation, such a diagram, so with these two extension and an isomorphism on the underlying ground fields, then the, this theorem uh, states that there exists, or maybe I should, usually we denote it like this, the existence error dashed so we uh, there exists an isomorphism of l uh, into l prime which with the property that restricts to this isomorphism downstairs so the, the, this diagram is a commutative diagram so given this theorem then our statement is a very immediate application we take two roots say alpha and beta, two roots of f, R, R is the set of roots, and of course, uh, so the extension, the field k of alpha, we, we can write it as uh, k of x over the ideal given by f, and the same we can do by k of beta, since are two roots of the same polynomial, and with this with this uh, isomorphism, we have that alpha is sent into beta, right? That this map would send, uh, the send, will send alpha into beta and restricts to the identity on K, on the underlying field. So, giving, coming back to our diagram, in this case we have, I consider um, L, our L here, as an extension over K of alpha and over K of beta. So what we have is this map here, which is an isomorphic which sends alpha into beta, and therefore by the isomorphism theorem, in this case, we get uh, an isomorphic sigma, which sends, so sigma is uh, an isomorphism of, of, uh, of L, L 
into itself so an element of uh, an automorphism L which fixes K and sends alpha into beta so this shows that we found an element uh, that realizes the transitive action of the group G as we wanted to prove. 